star of The X Factor, and now of Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, which is coming to the Theatre Royal next week here in Brighton from Tuesday through to Saturday, and speaking to Joe McEldry. Welcome to the show, Joe. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Now, tell us a bit about this production of Joseph. Is it true to the original, or is it a 21st century update on the story? Well, I mean, I think it's true to the original. Obviously, it's the same storyline, it's the same music. Um, but I think maybe it's been refreshed a little bit. I, I, I suppose it's refreshed with every cast that do it, you know, because each person brings a different kind of taste to a character or brings a little added flair to a character. You know, you've got all the brothers. They're all kind of different personalities. You know, um, the narrator, which is played by Lucy Kay, obviously she just, her voice is incredible in it. And I think she brings a different style to it as well. Um, so, yeah, I suppose it's a bit of a refreshed version. Um, and... Everybody that's came to see it has, has, has really, really had really positive things to say about it. So um, that, that's kind of what we go by. If people are enjoying it, then we're happy, you know? Yeah, yeah. So for our listeners who maybe, there might be a few people out there who haven't seen the, the show in previous incarnations, can you give us just a little brief overview of the story? Well, I mean, it's quite a complex story, but cut a long story short, Joseph has brothers and... Um, He's kind of the favourite ta- child, shall we say, and he gets this dream coat. They're all very jealous and angry, and they kind of ship him off to be sold with slaves off to Egypt, um, and uh, they kind of get him kidnapped by, um, you know, by these kind of, by a Mr. Potiphar, as you call it. Um, and then, you know, his dad thinks he's died, and he, they tell him that, you know, he's, he's gone and that's it. And then it kind of goes through the whole story about how he sees these dreams and, he goes to the pharaoh and tells the dreams and then it all kind of turns on his head and he becomes this really powerful figure and the brothers are now bowing down to him but they don't know it's him. And then it gets to the end, he's reunited with his father and he gets his big, um, amazing technicolor dream called back. So it's a, uh, but you know, obviously there's lots of stuff inside of that story, um, but uh, that's kind of cut a long story short. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so tell us about your dream coat. Is it, is it jewel encrusted? It's not, well, it, I've got a couple, um, because there's quite a few changes in them, um, and there's one of them, um, you know, I have one at the start, which is kind of the simple one, then we have another one that they kind of take when I get kidnapped, and that kind of goes off in separate little pieces, so that's kind of a, um, it's, a, it's a bit of a complex one, and then the one at the end is like a big kind of long, um, long sleeve kind of fitted, it almost looks like a, a dress kind of coat, like, like an overcoat. Right. And then we have like the big coloured coat that clips around that. So it's quite complex. There's many, many layers to it. Good grief. And tell us about the other cast members. Who, who else is in the show with you? So we've got Lucy Kay, um, who was obviously a finalist on Britain's Got Talent. Um, and is actually from a classical background, but... Um, I think when you come and hear our voice in this show, you'll be very, very surprised in a really good way. She sounds incredible, and she's got this huge belt and voice that is just incredible. Um, and then, yeah, the rest of I mean, there's, there's quite a lot in the cast. You know, we've got three girls, um, 11 brothers, I think. No, yeah, 12, 12 or 11 brothers. So, right. um, but they're a great bunch, you know. They're a really strong cast. Everybody's lovely. Um, and, and as I said, people are loving the show, so it's, a, it's been a really positive experience. Great. Okay, Joe, if you'll stay with us on the telephone, we'll talk some more in just a few moments about the show. We'll have some music from you now, though. This is Ambitions. Now I can behave. Still with me on the telephone, star of Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, which is coming to the Theatre Royal here in Brighton from Tuesday through to Saturday next week. It's Joe McCaldry. So, Joe, it's been seven years since you since you won X Factor. You've been busy ever since with a, a wide variety of different projects. Looking back, would you have done anything differently uh, following the X Factor? Would you have made any different choices? Do you think? Um, no, I think I think probably all of the choices that I made, whether I thought they were right or wrong at the at the time, um, have led to the, this moment now. You know, where I've managed to sustain a career for seven years. Which, you know, in this industry, is a bit, well, especially coming from a show like X Factor, you know, I think it's quite, um, you know, it, it's well doc- documented that people do find it quite difficult to maintain a career, you know, because yeah. just not, not because of the show, just because of the ruthlessness of the industry, you know, it's a very ruthless industry, the music industry. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm just quite proud that I'm still doing something that I really love, you know, and I always said that I, I want to be doing this for years to come, you know, and, you know, Seven years is a short time, but in, in the performing arts industry, that's quite a long time. Yeah, absolutely. 
So yeah, I'm, I'm just quite proud that I'm, you know, still doing something that I love every day and, and have managed to have some wonderful success. It's been brilliant. Yeah. You won Pop Star to Opera Star in, in 2011. Do you think this led to people taking you more seriously as a singer? Um. Well, yeah, I, I, maybe in a sense, but then I suppose the opera world kind of frowned upon that TV show, so I don't know. I suppose that's something you would probably have to ask people like that, but I, 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 I think maybe the, 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 um, the kind of opera, the huge opera fans, I don't think they were a fan of it, but that's fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it for them, I did it for, uh, for the other people. But, um, but yeah, it's, um, I, I don't know, Like I, I really, really enjoyed it, and it was a wonderful experience, and I found that people came up to us afterwards and were like, oh my God, you can really sing. Like, I, I think sometimes when you're on X Factor, it's, so, it, it, it's got so much other stuff around it that people forget that you're singing live every week, you know? Yeah. Um, and I did find that people came up with a lot more afterwards and said, I didn't realise your voice was that strong. So maybe it kind of, you know, but that's a positive thing, you know, that's a, that's a positive thing for, to have people say that after a TV show. Yeah. Do you still bust out an aria now and again? In, yeah, in your spare it's time? still a huge part of me um, repertoire, you know. Um, I'm going out on tour after uh, Joseph finishes, um, after the summer. I'm going out on a solo tour all around the country again. And um, it, 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 it's still a huge part of me material. I still do a section in the show of all the classical. I would probably even record a classical crossover album again because I really, really enjoyed exploring that kind of material. Yeah, well, I was, I was just about to say, you've released four albums, which I think is, for for an X Factor winner, is, is quite an impressive run to have four albums released. And since splitting from Psycho, do you have full control over what you record now? Is it, is it really your choice as to what you decide to record? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I was discussing this with somebody the other day, um, and, you know, I, I think you always, have, you always do have an element of control, because at the end of the day, if you really want to stomp your foot down, you're the one that sings. So you can't, you know, you can't be forced to go into a studio unless you go in there and sing the, the material. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I think there also has to be a certain amount of respect between an artist and a label as well. You know, in the sense that you can't just bolt around and um, and just say, I'm not recording this, I'm not doing that. I think it's a, it's, it should always be a mutual decision because at the end of the day, you know, the record label are the ones that put the money there to record the album. So you can't kind of then start going around and saying, well, I'm not going to do this and I'm not going to do that. It's about coming to a compromise and, and having a great working relationship. You know, I did my last three albums with Decca, um, Universal, and, and we had a great kind of understanding of each other that, you know, when they wanted... We used to sit down and discuss things and talk about things and say, well, OK, well, we're going to record this now and let's try this in the studio, but just because we try it doesn't mean we we'll have to use it, you know? Mm. Um, so there was no kind of fear there of kind of you know, one kind of stepping on each other's toes. So we had, you know, and, and working with them has been fantastic. So it's, um, I think it's, it's, it's all about compromise and having a great working relationship. Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned you'll be out on tour later in the year. How long does the, the Joseph show tour for? How long are you doing this for? So we finished the Joseph tour um, the second week of July. Right. And then we go, and then I'll have a little bit of a break. And then my tour starts in August. Um, for a few days, so I've kind of a few warm-up shows, and then the bulk of the tour starts at the start of October right through November, so it's, a, it's non-stop, but yeah, I mean, all, all the dates for that are on joemcleldjeofficial.com, so you can find out where we're going there, um, and, but we're going to many, many places around the UK, so I hope to see people there, it'd be wonderful to see people. Brilliant. Okay, well, Joe, good luck with uh, the touring, Joseph, and, and the gigs beyond. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us this evening. Pleasure, thank you.